Yo, it is your boy DW Gaming. I am back to talk about this 5G network. That NAT type, as into my last video that I've made on here about it. I just gotta say, you guys are awesome. I appreciate every single one of you who has watched that video, commented, and definitely made me feel good when everyone said thank you turning that 5g off and going back to uh, 4g to some of you who was not able to do that i do apologize the only thing that i always could say you could have done is just try to call up your provider and uh see if they could help you out with that but anyways i want to make this video short as possible um so i i'm on my laptop right now i have my obs i have my uh window here pretty much half because uh i'm going to show you guys something and i don't need you to see my ip address uh so let's just get moving to this all right so we all know that t-mobile bought out sprint right so this is directly to all you sprint owners my Sprint account, um, I didn't have a job at the time when I made the video, and my um, phone got shut off. And when I finally got a job, it was like three months after, uh, they ended up like canceling my contract. Uh, so I called Sprint, paid off my bill. They went ahead and got me with T-Mobile. So, therefore, uh, when I got with T-Mobile, uh, that I was able to keep my phone and everything. Uh, they uh, just pretty much like a new member, blah, blah, blah. Um, I talked about the hotspot. I told them on my cell phone that I wanted to get the highest hotspot you guys can offer. Um, I was talking to somebody who I had a hard time understanding, of course. Sad to say, but got through it. Um... So I signed up and everything, and next thing I know, uh, they ended up sending me my new SIM card. But then they ended up sending me this big box. <laughs> it was a box inside of another box. And to be honest with you guys, I think you will not be able to play Xbox or PlayStation on a 5G network on your cell phone. I want to overrule that. Uh, the reason why I say that is because T-Mobile came out with something like this. And just so you know, ever since I got with T-Mobile, uh, I've had this. So let me go over here. Okay. This is brilliant. Okay. This is, this is awesome. So I have this this T-Mobile box. This T-Mobile box is powered by 5G, okay? And um, as you can see down here, it does say not available in all areas, okay? So y'all can read that right there. I know you can read. I don't have to read it for you. All right, but I have this. Uh, I think that this right here is the reason why use and even included myself cannot play 5g on your cell phones in order to have that 5g you need to have this and i'm going to tell you guys right here right now to all you sprint owners cancel stop go with team mobile i'm telling you just cancel do it this is this is 50 dollars extra on top of your bill um honestly i pay $150 every single month for my plan. This modem, well, whatever the hell you want to call it, this Wi-Fi, hotspot, whatever, um, I've already hit, <clears throat> like, one terabyte a month already, and I've never even been shut off. Um, it also includes two Ethernet ports in the back. Yes, two Ethernet cords. I know. I was losing my mind <laughs> when I seen it. Uh, it does give you a C plug power cord 
and it does come with its own SIM card that is a different like cell phone number and it's very very it is cool like I'm glad that I have it honestly um now let's talk about speeds man yeah it's, this is ridiculous. Some of you who may have like a regular internet provider may actually get pissed off about this. Uh, so I'm going to go over here to Speed Test by Ookla. All right. And we're going to check this out. This was my, before I did this video, all right, this is the uh, download speed and upload speed uh, before I did all this. I wanted to show you. But what I'm going to do is... I am actually going to redo this and I am going to have this in this video. All right, right here and right now. So give me a couple seconds, real quick. Let me move myself out of this little area. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Yeah, ain't that crazy? 224.86 download speed and then 2. Point, no, 29.87 upload speed. That's nuts. Very, very nuts. But, yeah. As I was saying, I think this is the reason why we couldn't play uh, our systems on 5G. I just wanted to come out and let you guys know, in my opinion, Sprint nor T-Mobile has never been cooperative with me when it came to knowing or asking or finding out why we wasn't able to do it. Um, once I found this out and I got it and I was playing around with it, yeah. Um, I do want to let you know that that thing that 5G uh, hotspot, that's what we're just going to call it, I guess, home internet, blah, 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 blah. I do have to say, I am a Facebook streamer uh, for video games. I play Apex Legends, Call of Duty, Warzone. Uh, I have my Xbox connected, uh, hardwired into the 5G hotspot. I also have my Xbox app open on my laptop, connected to my Xbox streaming through that way i have obs in the background that is connected to facebook um i'm going to also soon go and try to do it on youtube so yeah so um for being that and having a laptop and everything i'm having running on this system plus my xbox and everything else think about how much usage i'm actually uh pulling so uh yeah so i hope this helps you guys out once again. Uh, let me see here real quick. Let me see if I can go down here. Yeah, right here. Look at this. You guys see that? 8.7 views, man. 8.7. That is that is fucking crazy. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much for actually taking the time and looking into this. I'm sorry that these companies are shady and they do what they do. Uh, once again, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please share this to anybody who you know who has issues. I highly, highly recommend looking into this. All right. Y'all be real and be safe. Oh, yeah. Man, 
y'all watch my videos. I I'm telling you, I'm a beast at gaming. All right, I, I hope I see you guys there sometime. All right, be real, be safe. Love y'all.